Hello there and welcome to the Hash Power Academy. This is your place to learn anything to do with Bitcoin. And the topic of today's video is going to be looking at the revenue based payback period of your Bitcoin mining machine. So the first thing to understand as to why people get into Bitcoin mining is this. You can buy a Bitcoin or you can spend that same Bitcoin opportunity cost and a benchmark of I paid a Bitcoin for a quantity of machines and you're going to start with no Bitcoin. You are earning it as a yield. You are the farmer committing to his soil and looking to energy to create Bitcoin over time, which is you're trying to accumulate a greater quantity of Bitcoin over time. And in essence, you have produced more Bitcoin than you just could have purchased in the first place. This line is the revenue rate because obviously you take electricity into that and maybe there's an aspect there. So the strategy to first understand is you need to be using dollars to pay your electrical bill. That is essentially the, the fundamental thesis behind Bitcoin, that your money should have a cost to produce and adhere to the laws of physics, just the same as when we go to work and consume and exchange our time and energy for money. So how are the machines priced is the first step. And what we are paid per terahash or what we are earning per terahash becomes that key comparison. So it boils down like this. Mining machines, ASICs, are priced in how much dollars per terahash they are. So if a whole machine is $4,000 and produces 200 terahashes of performance, so it's earning 200 times 5 cents a day, well, that boils down to $20 per terahash. Now, in this video, we're not going into efficiency aspects of pricing. We're not going into electrical side of things. We are just looking at the revenue based aspect of how much you can earn and how long in terms of time that's going to take to be paid back. So to answer these questions, we're going to just look at these prices. So it boils down like this. If you paid, you bought a miner that was priced in $30 per terahash, and this is what we are paid by the network. The network determines what we are paid. If the price was to double, we'll be earning 10 cents of uh, money, Bitcoin, per terahash per day. But for now, the, the metrics boil down like this. You're 30 divided by 5 cents, that is 600 days. So just revenue alone is a payback period with a brand new latest efficient machine of 600 days. Note that the halving is in 900 days, so you've got longer, essentially. So all of these are within, within the good territory. Electricity obviously delays that if you are counting the profit side of things. But for this, easy numbers. 20 divided by 5 cent, that's 400 days. Notice how the payback period is getting smaller. This is because cheaper machines are less efficient and you need closer to free power essentially for uh, for this for the economics of this to work which is yeah the machines of last generation last generation last cycle the s19s and an older those machines you really need power under like three two to one cent per kilowatt hour and i will be releasing a video on how to access power at those prices so the bit to understand here is just revenue alone before looking at the electrical side of things if you are buying a latest efficient machine you're looking for longevity you want a machine that's going to last you want it in an environment that looks after that machine you don't want it switching on and off too much causing thermal damage um, and the other way around to work this is if you are looking at particular periods of time let's just say you think of the the peak of the bull market's going to be in whatever amount of days, well, you could probably size this to a particular price you're willing to pay. But again, there's a whole energy side to calculate from this. This is just giving you the basis of how to first approach your pricing and what is the upper bound of what you're going to earn when the network determines what you are paid. There is also uh, new products market services such as Luxor, which is more institutional level stuff, which you can lock hash price essentially into forward contracts. So you could buy a machine, deploy it with an operator or anything else. And if it's in the thousands or you know, thousands of terahash or into petahash uh, series volume, you can lock this rate into contracts. 
So you're just looking for that uptime and execution of the operation and you've already locked in a certain hash price. Different topic though. So I did mention that the uh, halving is in 900 days. Now let's just put 900 here and reverse it the other way around. 900 days and I'm not going to use 5 cent. I'm going to assume that let's just say this declines to an average of 4 cent. That is a calculation of $36 a terahash. So if you are looking to buy uh, the latest efficient machine and really have the full payback period in under 900 days so that the machine in revenue terms is paying all its money back before the next halving, uh, you can sort of calculate it the other way around. You can calculate, um, yeah, so for this it was the uh, what am I doing? 900 times 0.04 as the, the dollar amount. So yeah, there's just other ways to jig the numbers around to, to make sure that you can understand different figures. Um, let's do it the other way around. Let's do a 365. You want to make sure that easy numbers, you spent a Bitcoin on machines. You want in dollar terms to get that full Bitcoin back from estimating that this hash price may go up, may go down, but the average across the whole is 365 days. Obviously, you times that by your 0.5, and that is your 18, 18.25. So you can see, you go, hey, I'm willing to get a machine. Again, you've got to start delving into the electrical side as well. I want a machine under $18.25 per terahash because I know at five cent of revenue per terahash per day, that I'm gonna roughly recoup that fully, paying the electrical bill with dollars in under 365 days. Ooh. Um, any questions, queries, any modeling that you're trying to do, reach out to me, I can help. And um, yeah, anyone of larger scale, there is opportunities to delve into machines of much cheaper prices, much cheaper payback periods, but there's some other considerations to contend with, but again, the scale for everyone. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.